Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's uh, really exciting to be here with you today. So we are doing a business workshop. So if you've been here for the previous presentation last week, we would have been discussing a, uh, the product and the opportunity uh, in a Discover a SEER presentation. But today's presentation is really aimed at anybody who has the intention or the desire to share a SEER with other people. So this is really about connecting, educating, and growing. And before we discuss how to share a SEER, the really big question I think we all need to ask ourselves is why? Why would I like to share a SEER? Why is it important to me? Now, some people uh, share a SEER just because they're concerned about somebody, they love somebody, and they wanna pass on this great gift to that person. And that's a perfectly uh, legitimate way to, to begin your sharing journey. A lot of people just start sharing a SEER uh, because they want to help others and that's fantastic. Sometimes uh, people share a SEER because they are determined and they have the intent to change their financial situation. And they recognize that this is a great business. It fits the bill for so many of us. You know, effectively we have a business here that you can get started for little to, to very low investment. Um, you have all the support. It's not on trial. You're not going to see if it works. It's already working well. You have the support of a global company, an unlimited market across 34 countries. Somebody else has taken care of the distribution, the product research, the marketing, everything. You and I are just out there connecting people to this information and helping them get started. And with that, you have the option to develop a distribution that uh, could add a, a hundred, five hundred dollars to your weekly revenue. Uh, it could add a thousand to ten thousand dollars to your weekly revenue, and um, and more. And I know it sounds silly when I say more. You know, what could you do with an extra twenty thousand dollars a week? It sounds ridiculous. I understand that, but the the reality is, the fact is that there are people in our team generating that now. People that have got started even after me. So people that in the last three years have accomplished those kinds of turnovers and, and what they've done is something that you can do. And that's really just to get out there, connect with people. Because here's the fact, whether you and I um, do this or not, there are people out there who are looking for better options for their health. Whether you bring this technology to them or not, there are people who definitely will want to hear about it. There are people who are suffering with their health, they're suffering with, uh, with pain, they're suffering with conditions they've had to work through for many years. There's people who are right now on Google looking for better alternatives for their health. There's people also right now sitting at home Googling how to make an additional income. How do I improve my lifestyle? How can I leave work? How can I, how can I? There are people that are looking all the time for ways to improve their financial situation. So these are the two major issues that, that um, we are facing as a global society, health issues and financial issues. And you can reach out to people and give them a practical solution to both, something that can truly improve their health and something that can truly transform their financial situation. How do I know that? Because that's my testimony. In my family, this product has completely transformed the health of my family, but this product has also completely transformed our financial situation. It's allowed me to live my previous business. It's allowed us to be able to work from anywhere, to travel, to have better financial options. It's allowed my dad to retire. It's allowed us to really be able to um, live the life that we want. And we're just getting started. So you can do that too. Um, and the purpose of this presentation is to give you a quick breakdown of what to do, how to, uh, what to say, how to say it when you want to share a seer with others. And it's important for you to realize that um, if, um, you know, you, you might think, oh, well, I don't know anyone. Well, guess what? The world is a big place with billions and billions of people in it you can definitely be guaranteed that there are people looking for you. You've just got to find a way to reach them. And that's why we're doing this workshop. 
So sharing a seer begins with knowing exactly why. All right, so this is what we're going to cover. Know what you're in, know who you're looking for, know what to say, prepare for objections and make sure you follow up. So what in the world are you in? Well, we all know that a seer is an incredible advancement. It is the world's only product that contains redox signaling molecules. And the only other place that you can find these molecules is inside your body, inside your cells. These are the biological messengers that protect, repair, and regenerate your body. So we know, thanks to thousands and thousands of studies, that this is the role of redox in the body, protection, repair, and regeneration. However, we also know that as we age, our, our levels of these molecules decline. And that's happening with a natural aging process, but it's also happening through the toxic environment that we live in. It's happening so much faster. So now for the first time, we're able to address that radical decline because when we have less redox, our body communicates less effectively. And when those messages and that communication is broken down in your body, then guess what? We're going to have issues at the cellular level. So a SIA is validated by scientific studies and it is being hailed as one of the most important health science breakthroughs of our time. So this is not just another cool product. Can I remind you of that? Okay, because I know we've all been approached by people saying, hey, I have a business uh, and we sell oils or we sell candles or we sell makeup. And so many products on the, in the marketplace are great, but I would certainly not want to be involved on a commercial level with anything other than a SIA because it is a breakthrough. So our offering is unique. Our offering is native to the body, which means I don't have to worry about whether it's gonna be good for somebody, but bad for someone else. This belongs in all our bodies. It is powerful and effective. We also know that um, as you start sharing a SIA, you're bringing people into a partnership with an incredible company. This company didn't just startup yesterday. I always get very concerned when people let me know that they have a startup opportunity. That startup translates to may or may not work. You know, we have a 10 year track record right here, a track record of growth year after year, a track record of expansion of millions and millions of turnover and hundreds and thousands of lives impacted. What we also know is that we are forecast to surpass the billion dollar annual revenue in the next five years and why that's exciting is because there are people who are going to be part of that we are at our we are at an inflection point a real place in the market where our company uh, growth is um, is growing exponentially and your ability to connect with this company couldn't be done at a better time if you're getting started right now you are at the right place at the right time. We will look back uh, in the next, uh, you know, in five years time as this time, as the perfect time to engage with this company. Before it was too well known, but already when it was well established. Now, what else do you have in your hands? You have access to um, one of the most exciting industries right now. So many people are changing their, the way that they want to work and looking for ways to work from home. And if you're going to work from home, the very best way to work from home is through the network marketing model. Um, and now people have their different personal opinions about it. You know, people have personal opinions about everything. But personal opinions have to be put to the side when you're making a business decision. And you just have to really focus on what the numbers say not what the neighbor says or what my mother-in-law might think. What do the numbers, what do the facts say? The facts talk about this industry and it is an industry that is not slowing down. This is a 645 annual billion dollar industry, right? There are millions and millions of distributors around the world. And in fact, this is the highest paying career in the world. Um, and the second is professional sports. So 20% of the millionaires in America right now have come from this industry. So when people think, oh, this is just a way that people make a little money on the side, well, that is true for some people. This is a way that some people make a little money on the side, but this is a way that thousands and thousands of people around the world 
make big money as well. So it really is up to you to see what you want to decide. The other industry, of course, that we're playing in is the health industry, which is the fastest growing sector of the economy. It is a sector that desperately needs innovation, and it is a sector that is ripe with entrepreneurial opportunities. So you have all this in your hands, the perfect storm between the product, the opportunity, and the people that you can work with. So know who you're looking for, okay? So know what you have in your hands is step one. Who are you looking for? We are meeting a need, okay? We really need to be conscious that what we're doing right now is connecting with people who are already looking for us. We're meeting a need in sport, in health, in sports, in beauty, in business. And we are offering this uh, uh, opportunities across health, opportunity, community, lifestyle, and impact. We're offering people the chance to connect with us at a high level. And this is really, really exciting because when, when people are out there looking at products, they don't get this full package. This is really a level of connection at a much higher level. When people come in and become involved with a SIA, you know, this is one of the reasons when people say, well, what, what about, um, you know, can I buy this product on Amazon? I said, well, you can buy it, but there's no guarantees on the product, product quality. But aside from that, the important factor is um, you don't have any support. You don't have any guidance. You don't have anybody offering you community, reaching out to you to see how your product uh, usages, uh, consultations to make sure that you are getting the results that you need and you don't have the opportunity to create a lifestyle out of it and make impact in other people's lives. So it really is a much bigger offering than just, hey, I have a product. You've got so much more in your basket to offer people. Where do you find people? Well, you can find them everywhere. People will be um, um, in your circle already, people that you know well. There are people, I guarantee you, in your circle that need this product. Um, there are people that maybe you don't know that well, but you may have heard of somebody who's struggling with a sickness, or you may have uh, connections um, in casual networking through the school, through the church, uh, through the clubs that you're part of, through other parent groups, maybe some business networking. The reality is, and this is something I'd like to offer as a challenge to your perspective, is that the average diamond personally sponsors between 40 and 50 people, 40 and 50 people. You know, that's really not a lot in order to create an income of nearly $20,000 a month. So the average diamond in our team takes around 21 months to accomplished diamond. So between 40 and 50 people that you need to personally sponsor in order to reach one of the highest levels in the company. To me, that seemed like such a small goal. I was like, the lifestyle that I dream of, my financial freedom is there's only 50 people between me and that future that I desperately want. Well, there are 7.53 billion people in the world. Right now, we can't even get away from each other as we've seen during the pandemic. So there truly is no reason not to connect with others. There are people right now that need to hear from you and they're in your immediate circle. Understand that you're not selling, you're educating. You're not chasing, you are attracting. You're not pushing, you are resolving. You're not a doctor. You're just a specialist on these products. And please don't go out there trying to convince people. We are here to exude conviction. You attract what you are. So at the end of the day, it's really important that you are someone with confidence about a seer, that you are a product user, that you are an ambassador for this company. You know, if uh, it's, it's really incredible. We really go out there to mirror, to, to look for other people just like us. We're like a, we're like a mirror. My, my um, son did a little video on this one time. Life is like a mirror. Whatever you put out is exactly what you're going to get back. So when I look at pockets in our organization where I can see that um, somebody is getting incredible results and they're attracting great people and those people coming in are leaders and they're motivated and they're, they're coachable and they're learning and they're at the event, it's a true reflection of what the leader is projecting. 
So somebody who's got a lot of doubts, who's maybe a bit lazy, who's inconsistent, who shows up but then disappears, guess the kind of people they attract? They attract the same kind of people. So we don't need to focus on who we need to find. We need to focus on who we need to become. That is so much more important. All right, once we have some of this preparation done and out of the way, let's talk about knowing what to say, how to share a seer. Now, it's very important that you make your approach yours, okay? Right now, a lot of you are working um, with a very exciting new system uh, through the Diva platform and also through your Genie Go. And um, it's very important that even though we have provided scripts and exactly what to say and a sequence of how to say it, it's really important that you make it your own. Okay, so if I was reaching out to Terry, I would just be very casual and let's say Terry had a bad back. I would say, Terry, I'm, I hope you don't mind me reaching out. I was really sad to hear about your bad back and I wanted to share something with you that I thought could help. I've recently come across a biomedical company. They have a very exciting uh, new technology. I don't know if you've heard of redox signaling. He'll probably say, nope, I haven't. That's okay. I hadn't either, but uh, a, a lab in Utah, they've been able to replicate these molecules that signal for healing in our cells. And we're having wonderful results with other people. Would you like to find out a little bit more about it? Or would you be open to receiving some information? Or could I connect you to a specialist who can explain in more detail how it works? This last one is the most important. If you're just getting started, your secret weapon that most people completely underutilize is your upline. Somebody has sponsored you into this business and they already know how to answer questions, how to do a consultation, how to talk to people. All you need to do rather than overwhelm yourself thinking I've got to learn everything I've got to become an expert I've got to know all the answers forget that park that to the side and try and do just one thing all you have to do is be a good connector of people connect people invite John to speak to to Terry invite somebody else in your upline to to speak to people that are you're bringing on you don't need to be anything but a good connector build some curiosity build up your specialist, create some um, posture for your specialist, uh, give them some, um, give them a little bit of a, 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 what do you call, like a, an introduction, and then let them do the work for you. Now, if you're reaching out to people about business and the opportunity, and by the way, who should you talk to about health? Who should you talk to about business? Well, here's the thing. If somebody has an immediate health issue, like they're dealing with something serious, you're not going to start talking to them about a business. That would be inconsiderate. But everybody else that you're talking to, everybody else that doesn't have an immediate health issue, we should talk about business. We should talk about opportunity because the majority of people do have some small health issues. We've all got things going on, but... Most people, I would say, have a more pressing economic crisis than they do a health crisis. So we go and we reach out to people with the thing that we believe will be most important to them. So I would say, hey, Lynette, how have you been? I hope you don't mind me reaching out to you, but I've come across something very exciting. And I thought of you immediately. And I might ask her a bit about herself. You know, are you still, are you still in the health industry or are you still in, in Florida? Or um, are you still teaching yoga? You know, I would check in um, and then she would say, yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's the reason I thought of you immediately is because my friend Dan, he's an entrepreneur. He uh, uh, works with an amazing US medical biotech. They have a, a wonderful breakthrough and he's looking to connect with yoga teachers or he's looking to connect with people there in Florida. He's looking to connect with people in the health industry. Or he's looking to connect with business people in the region. Um, the product is a major advancement in the world of medicine, longevity, sports, and beauty. It's powerful, first of its kind, and has no current competitors. The company is fully capitalized, so they're not looking for investors. 
but they are, as I mentioned, looking for connecting with visionaries and influential individuals right there in wherever they are. Do you mind if I ask you, are you currently open to an additional income stream? Would you be open to exploring an additional income stream or an opportunity? Um, and if they say yes, then I guess your, your next move is to say that's wonderful. And then what I'd love to do is line up a call between, between yourself and Dan. He'll tell you everything. And, the, and setting up these three-way calls are wonderful because it allows you to not have to be the expert, not have to answer all the questions. You can just um, be the connector. But when you're making these phone calls, people care about three things. Why is she calling me? What is in it for me? Uh, what is it and what's in it for me? And right now, those of you that are reaching out to cold leads, um, we have a script, of course, in Genie Go of how to do that. But at the same time, um, if you just want to free call people, you maybe you don't even want to use your Diva card or maybe you don't want to send anything, you're welcome to just pick up the phone. Now, we'll be doing a training later on this week, but you're welcome to just get your lead and call them. And if you're doing that and just free calling people or, or if uh, you're just connecting with prospects and they're cold leads, these are really the three things people want to know. You know, so um, I, I called a lady yesterday. Her name was Maggie. I said, hey, Maggie, it's a, it's a real pleasure to be connected. Um, you know, you, uh, I received your details. Um, and uh, um, my name's Christina Williams. I'm here in Australia. And the reason I'm calling, because her brain's going, why is she calling? The reason I'm calling is to tell you a little bit briefly about what we do and also to find out a little bit about you and your priorities and to see if we can be a fit. Is that okay? And I ask people permission. Yes, that's fine, no problem. So what we've got on our hands, um, Maggie, is we've got a, a technology that nobody else has. It's a genuine advancement in the world of cellular health. The technology is in a field called redox signaling. And as you'll see in the video that I can send you after this brief chat, it, it has the capacity to uh, activate repair in our cells. It's being hailed as a, one of the most important breakthroughs of our time and has applications in the health industry, beauty, longevity, and sports industry. Now, what's in it for me is what she's asking. So then I switch gears to the last question now. The reason we're connecting with people there in the UK is because we are currently in an expansion mode. We distribute this technology, not via the pharmaceutical avenue, but via entrepreneurs, people who are interested in developing an additional income from home. And I'll have all the details about how it works in the video to follow. But I guess my question to you uh, up front, Maggie, is are you open to an additional income stream? Now, in her case, she said, yes, I am. Of course I am. And then I asked her a few more extra questions. I said, may I ask you, what do you currently do now? And uh, she said she works in a factory. Uh, she's a single mom. You know, and then I'm picking up some clues about how I can help her. I said to her, well, it sounds like you're hardworking. It sounds like you've got a lot of reasons to develop an additional income stream. You know, how much would you need to be able to just be at home full time? And she told me what she needed. I said, you know, that's, that's achievable within a few months working with our opportunity. She said, well, that sounds really good. I said, hey, exactly. That's why I got involved, Maggie. And uh, I'm really excited for you to discover this. So what I'm going to do now is send you a video, check it out, and let's book in to have a chat in 48 hours. And that's it. So whatever contact style you're using to connect with people, remember that we're here to serve not our needs, but their needs, whether they're health needs, financial needs. We need to offer the information why we're connecting with them, what it is in a very brief description and what's in it for them. You can see from my role playing that these phone calls are lasting no more than five minutes. This is not a long conversation. Okay, you're also, um, now someone's microphone is open, please. If you can all just be a little mindful there with your microphones. Let me mute who we've got. Okay. All right, fantastic. Uh, so moving right along, you will be asked frequently, what do you do? And, um, you know, if you're, a, if you're at a barbecue 
or if you are just needing to answer this question because you're already speaking with a prospect, uh, this is what I say, but I think it's important for you to know what you say. Write it out, put it somewhere visible, make sure you learn it and know how to explain yourself even in 30 seconds. So I work with a US medical biotech. We're in a new field of health science called redox signaling. We're bringing to market a cellular health technology. And actually, it's a massive advancement in the world of health, longevity and beauty. And I love what I do. It's wonderful to be making such an impact on so many lives. Actually, right now, my team and I are interested in connecting with other people um, who might be wanting to generate a residual income working with us as we roll out this technology. And, um, and then I might ask them some questions. You know, what do you do? Are you open to opportunities? Maybe I should send you some information. Make sure that you're always using leading language. The reason I thought of you, or I'm excited to share this with you because I believe that you, the next step that I propose, what I'd love to do is you know, a lot of people are very good at sort of presenting the information, but they fall short when they need to lead people through to the next thing. They'll tell people what it is and then they'll kind of just leave them hanging. So make sure that you are leading people through the next thing. Before you get on the phone, before you have the conversation with your prospect, ask yourself this question. Make a habit out of asking yourself, what's my goal? You know, what's my goal for this? Oh, my goal for this is to um, share a little bit of information so that they want to see the full video. Perfect. My goal for this actually is to get them along to the workshop on Thursday night. My goal for this is to set up a three-way call with Terry and make sure that you never finish a meeting without having taken a step towards that goal, right? I'm going to send you the video and then we'll get back together. Um, here's the link for the workshop and then I'll call you on Friday have your steps mapped out and you can even set yourselves a reminder on genie so that you know when you need to follow up so when you have a chat to someone you found out a little bit about themselves i like saying things like that's wonderful maggie look the next step that i propose uh, would be that i send you this video right now can you find some time to watch it tonight make sure you write down all your questions and then what i'd love to do is have a catch up with you tomorrow at the same time and go through those questions and let's chat about next steps. You know, I'm letting her know, even in those early conversations that I'm a leader, I know what's going on. I'm capable of taking her through. I'm capable of leading her through to what she wants. She is safe with me. Your language needs to convey that. Now, if you're not sure of where to lead people, if you don't feel that level of confidence, that's why you need your upline having these conversations with you. That's why the three-way call is so important. Objections. Yes, you're going to come up with objections. This is a business like any other. You know, when a tradesman goes out to um, uh, get quotes for doing construction work, not everybody agrees to the quote. When somebody walks into a restaurant, has a look on the menu on the wall, not everybody's going to love that menu. People aren't all going to love us. We're not going to be a fit for everybody. We are in the business of sorting and sifting and connecting with people that want to have what we can offer. But along the way, you're going to see some uh, people um, that will ask questions in a way that might seem like obstacles. They might seem like objections. Lynette, darling, if you can just watch your microphone, Lynette, I think it's accidentally open. So we can reduce objections by a number of ways. Let me just mute. Lynette. Can okay. you just allow me so, so I can I can yeah. do some of the microphone for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Let me stop share for a second. So you are going to come up with objections and, you know, this is just life. But you have to think for yourself, what is an objection? An objection is just a question. An objection is just a question. An objection, sometimes people, I did a presentation on objections the other day for you guys. And a lot of the time, objections are just people wanting to find out more. 
Um, sometimes people are scared, they've got fears and they're wanting to protect themselves. So as long as a person is still open to listening to your response, then I'm really happy to receive objections because when somebody is, is asking those questions, I know that I can overcome pretty much all of those objections if they're still uh, open-minded. <clears throat> so reduce objections by being confident, cover most of your objections in your delivery and focus on people rather than solely on the product. This is a mistake that a lot of people make when they're getting started, okay? They go out and talk to people and all they talk about is the molecules. And I know when uh, uh, a new associate is sending me questions like this, how do I send them all the studies and what's the link to, to send them with lots of doctors talking about a seer and how can I prove that these molecules will, will work and the mitochondria and the glutathione? When someone's just talking about the product, I realize that they've fallen down the rabbit warren. They're trying to be scientists. They're trying to be doctors. And that's not who we are. There is sufficient product information there for a prospect to look at without you needing to convince them about this product. We don't do that. Also, we don't try to pass off this product as a pharmaceutical. It is not a pharmaceutical. It's not a medication. So I don't have to prove that an orange is an apple. No, an apple is an apple. An orange is an orange. If I was trying to convince somebody to take a prescription drug, then I should produce those um, prescription drug, drug type safety studies, et cetera. This is a wellness product. It is a substance that already belongs in your body. There is absolutely a completely different set of parameters because this is entirely safe. So our studies are studies about wellness. They're not pharmaceutical studies. But if people are going down this rabbit warren, I know that they've missed the opportunity to talk about the most important part, and that is talk about the person rather than the molecules. Talk about their goals. Talk about what's important to them and talk about outcomes. So many times we get bogged down with the process that we forget about the purpose. And by that, I mean that the purpose here is to fix problems, to help people improve their lives. So come back to talk about outcomes, okay? You don't need to be talking about the detail of how a mitochondria works. Talk about the testimonies, talk about the way to, 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 um, the, the way to get results with the product, the way to get results with the business. And of course, the more you do, the less any outcome matters. When people start talking to me and say, look, I, I met with this guy and then I met with him again and then I sent him this video and then I already think, oh my goodness, I know what the main issue is. When they say, well, what can I do to, to convince him or what can I do to get him started? I, my answer is always nothing. Let him go. The main issue is not your prospect. The main issue is your lack of volume. You need to be talking to so many people that not any one person really makes a difference. If somebody isn't keen, let them go. Let them live their life. Okay, so here's some examples. I guess people will say things like, I don't like network marketing. No problems. I understand how you feel. Tell me what would be the ideal business then? What would be the ideal business? And tell me some of the characteristics that you're looking for. You know, a lot of people say they don't like network marketing. And then I ask them, why is that? Oh, well, because I had somebody that, you know, used to bug me and I said, okay, so you've met with somebody who wasn't successful. What if you met with somebody who was successful? Would that change your mind? You know, but I do like asking this question. Tell me, John, okay, let's put network marketing to the side. Let's pretend we all just landed on this planet. We're aliens and we don't know how people generate income. Ask what would be the ideal way to make an income? Would I like to work uh, a job? Uh, let me see. What do you do in a job? You show up and you, you put 40 to 50 hours a, a week in. So you're absolutely giving your entire life to it. You get paid a wage that usually isn't enough for you to be wealthy. It's just enough to get by. And then if you stop working, your income stops. No, a job is not great. What about a small business? Well, a small business usually requires thousands and thousands of dollars of investment and a small business usually has no guarantee in fact after 10 years most of them are no longer um, working 
oh, great. Okay, so I can invest lots of money, work my guts out for 10 years, and I'm not guaranteed any outcome. That's right. Okay, what about investments? Well, you pour hundreds and thousands of dollars into something and you wait a lot of years and you keep your fingers crossed that something good comes out the other end. Again, you need to, you know, you, you need a lot of time and a lot of money to, to take that risk. I'm not saying a job, a business, a, an, an investment is bad, but I'm just saying that a network marketing opportunity really is so much superior in terms of the offering. You get involved for hardly any money. You get supported by a team that's already successful. You work within a framework that's already been shown to work and you can work it around your own time. And guess what? The longer you stay and the more you build, the less you have to do because it's a business of duplication. To me, it's the perfect model. But you'll still have people that say they don't have time, they can't be bothered, they've got other priorities or um, they don't have um, the uh, attention span or whatever, you know, and I always bring people back to outcomes. I don't have time. Okay, no problems. May I ask you if this could generate an extra thousand dollars a week for you or an extra ten thousand dollars a month for you? Could you find the time? I, I'm the same way when people tell me about the product. I can't afford the product. Okay, no problem. Tell me if the product would work and, and help take away your back pain, would you think the price was worth it? If it helped your son, if it helped your mum, if it would you think the price was worth it? Oh, absolutely. Now, people need to be guided back to the results. Okay, so moving right along, remember that if you're not sure how to handle objections, use a three-way. Use your upline. They will instantly validate this. You have expert support and incredible language, um, incre incredible leverage. I already know the language to use when speaking to a prospect. You know, I've seen this product do things that no other product could do. I've seen this product surprise doctors, surprise surgeons, change and transform lives around in an extraordinary way. So nobody can sit there and tell me it doesn't work. I've seen this opportunity transform my life and the lives of hundreds of other people economically. So I can bring that validation to you. If you're brand new, lean on the people around you who already have the conviction that you're still on the way to developing. At the same time, as you're listening to them talk, you'll be coached and you'll, you'll be able to duplicate. Now, let me tell you something as I get close to wrapping up here. Um, if you're getting the same objection all the time, guess what? You are projecting it. I'm so sorry, but this is a fact. If you're constantly hearing people tell you about the price, it's probably because you have some hesitations about the price. If you're hearing people tell you about network marketing, then it's probably because you have some issues around network marketing. What I know is that as we grow, our objections reduce. When you exude confidence, when you exude conviction, when you are able to offer people um, the, the kind of, a leadership that they're looking for, then those objections will really reduce and almost fade into nothing. Lastly, the follow-up. So you've reached out to someone, you've sent information, you've covered some objections, and now you need to go back and collect a decision or well, keys to a great follow-up. Make sure you do one. Make sure that you have set up a clear intent to follow up during the first conversation. So here's a video I'm going to send you and we'll get together in 48 hours. That means Friday at 10 p.m. And we will go through any questions you've got. And at that time, we'll discuss next steps. That's exactly how I set up a follow up. I let them know. Great. I've put it in the diary. Make sure you write your questions down and we'll have a good chat on Friday. So the follow-up isn't something that uh, you try and line up later on. Trust me, it's a terrible idea because you'll end up just chasing people. We don't want to do that. Have your follow-up set up from the start. Have a clear plan for what's next. So when you get back together with people, I don't ask them, you know, what did they think? The reality is most people don't think. You know, Bob Proctor says we need to teach people to think first and then we need to teach people what to think <laughs> you know how to think properly the, if you say to somebody what did you think a lot of people will stare at you blankly and just go oh i don't know it's interesting that conversation is going to lead you nowhere so ask more specific questions like 
that John, from what you've seen so far, are you interested in the health benefits or also in the opportunity? And then you can start having a conversation about that. With the information you've seen so far, John, are you ready to move to the next step? Or what do you need to see in order to move to the next step? Um, ask them some result-driven questions. In which ways would an additional $100,000 per month impact your life? Let's talk about that. And um, what extra information do you need in order to get started? Now I ask them, what are you waiting for? And, um, and usually people, when, when we guide them through this, they can say, well, you know, I actually know I'm, I don't need anything else. I'm really confident. I think what I need to see maybe is if the product works. And if they say, I just want to see if the product works, I say, wonderful, that's exactly what I wanted. So let's get you the answer to that. Let's get you on a product plan. And for the next three months, you'll be taking the drink. You'll be testing the gel on different people. And that's really going to give you a solid platform for testing the product and for knowing with confidence what you've got on your hands. All right, some final thoughts. These are the things leaders know. This business is about repetition. It's about going through the same cycle. Know what you want. Make a commitment to those outcomes. Make a list. Keep your list always growing. Invite, present, and send the information. Make sure you set up a follow-up. Get people started and offer mentorship, plug people into the system. If you're not getting results, if you're not bringing people into your business every single week, it's because there is a weakness in one of these eight steps. So you've got to look at it. Okay, maybe I don't have very clear goals, or maybe I have goals, but I'm not committed to them. You know, the weeks just click on by, and um, I know this would be a good idea, but I'm not really committed. Um, maybe you're not following up. Maybe you're getting information to people, but you're just leaving them. Um, maybe you haven't uh, learned the art of um, getting people started efficiently. And you get people started and then they just get left behind. Or maybe you're not mentoring. Have you got a coach? Are you listening to some personal development material? Are you growing? You know, so... Take a look at this cycle. This is truly the cycle of success. And all you need to do is repeat. What else do leaders know? Leaders know that they don't know everything. This is really, really important. All of us have something to learn. From where you are today to where you want to be in your life, you have something to learn. How do I know that? Because if you already knew it, you'd already be there. You know, we look at our lives and we are exactly where we expected to be. Maybe not where we wanted to be, but we're exactly where we expected to be. We get in life not what we want. We get exactly what we expect. And our expectation is impacted by our belief systems, by our history, by our fears. And in overcoming those challenges is where you build a bridge through to a different life. We are all carrying different programs and we don't even know they are. You know, it's really important to spend some time with yourself and ask yourself, <clears throat> what do I believe? What do I believe about myself? What do I believe about this business? What do I believe about my health? What do I believe about money? These are interesting questions. What I discovered is that when I first came to ASEA and I was a single mum with four kids, I had a program playing <clears throat> in the back of my mind, which was a poverty program. I thought that poverty was a badge of honour. I thought that I was just always going to be condemned to struggle. And this is what single mums do. We struggle. And, uh, you know, people with lots of money are bad and, and money's evil. I had these programs. And then I started to challenge those programs because the reality is I believe now that we live in a world of abundance. I do no favors to anybody by keeping my light hidden, by keeping my light small. There is nothing that I teach my children by living a life under the program that we are limited, that we are strugglers, that we are never going to have enough. There is nothing to gain from that. <clears throat> I believe that we have all got the seeds of greatness, but we need a different program to play in order for us to step into our full potential. 
The crazy thing is most of us are operating on a program. We don't even know what it is. And it doesn't matter how successful you are. There's still a program. There's still a program and we can always improve that program. I'm excited to meet the person I will be in 10 years. And it would be a great shame if that person was the same as I am today. I hope and I am working hard to be uh, wiser, smarter, more experienced, more compassionate, have had more impact on the world, be a better parent, be a better wife, <clears throat> be a better leader. So what do you need to learn? in order to increase your own potential. And lastly, and this is um, uh, comes down from Malcolm and from Danny, incredibly successful man. These are the reasons why people win. You know, I'm a student of this business and I've asked people, I've sat there and looked them in the eye and said, tell me, if you could tell me three things <clears throat> that people who are successful in a seer have, I wanna know what they are. What are the three things that they have? What, can, what are the three things I need to work on? And this is what they are. The people who win have a dream. They're very clear on what they want, why they want it, and they're emotionally connected to that dream. Number two, people who win are disciplined. There is no way to skate uphill up this mountain. You need to have some discipline and consistency <clears throat> going and the discipline isn't disciplined to the work. You're not disciplined to a CR. You're not disciplined to the product. You're disciplined to your dream. Whatever it is your objective, what is it that you want to achieve? Be disciplined to that. That's going to drive you to do a little bit every day. And finally, you need to be coachable. If you've arrived here thinking that I already know everything, I know exactly how I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it my way. I'm sorry, my friend, but it's going to be a tough journey. I've seen it too many times. Personally, I didn't need to be original. I didn't feel the need to be original. I wanted to grow quickly and to grow quickly. I was happy to take the lessons from other people who had already gone before me. I was happy to take the information, to stand on their shoulders and to receive the coaching. You don't win by being original here. You'll win by being a very good student and being able to duplicate. So thank you very much, guys. I'm going to pause the recording now and take some questions. I hope you've enjoyed um, learning a little bit more about how to share a SEER and some of the key factors about how you can go out and get this great technology to the world, sharing it with people and change so many lives.